A Times Influence Initiative. The Digital India Summit and Awards 2017, hosted annually by the Times Network and now in its third edition, has become a thought leadership platform on powering the country's digital economy. And the Digital India Hero Series is an attempt to highlight the award-winning, groundbreaking digital initiatives that are transforming India's corporate and socio-economic landscapes alike. Welcome back to the Digital India Summit Winner Series. The country's first fully integrated safe city project brought us to Pune, where we met with the pioneers behind the concept. Here's a glimpse of our conversation with Allied Digital Services. The Pune City Surveillance Project, pioneered by Allied Digital Services, is the first of its kind in that it's both smart and large scale. At its core, the project is powered by a state-of-the-art control and command center that helps maintain law and order across Pune and proactively prevent crime. By capitalizing on cutting-edge technology, Allied Digital Services is setting the precedent for safe city living. Pune's population has experienced exponential growth in recent decades. Has the city's infrastructure kept pace in your view? There's a massive inflow of uh, people across the country coming to Pune. Uh, it's a typical example of rapid urbanization. So it has led to a lot of gaps uh, in terms of uh, safety and security, as well as facilities, traffic and transportation. And people are experiencing a lot of challenges uh, today in their daily lives. It has become an uh, inhibitor uh, for the city to, for its growth now. Well, what are some of the biggest safety and security issues plaguing Pune today? And how is the city surveillance project designed to address them? The Pune city uh, surveillance project is a holistic project. It is a major initiative to uh, control uh, crime and also do investigations. Three big areas which this project has uh, uh, brought in is continuous monitoring of the city for 24 by 7 operations, making sure all the uh, 640 square kilometers of the city are uh, actively monitored. Number two, it generates a lot of active data intelligence as well as video analytics, which is used to do a lot of investigations and forensics. Uh, so there's a huge analytics piece. The last important piece is the situation management, which is the uh, aspect of taking actions. We have designed about 30 to 40 different kinds of incidents what the police has to do in these incidents, how they can uh, you know, take an active control on this situation. It can be as small as a petty crime or as large an incident like a, a terrorist attack. Well, this seems to be a multi-pronged solution. Does it all rest on a single platform? How do you manage its integration? Allied Digital has played a master systems integrator role um, and it has basically implemented the uh, entire initiative of proactive law and order management. There are two key aspects of this. Uh, one is uh, we have created a digital backbone. So what it enables is the entire city has uh, now being networked and threaded. And this digital backbone as a single entity helps to bring in all the data and videos across the city to the centralized command centers. There are various systems that are deployed uh, as a part of this holistic uh, initiative. Uh, the one is the geographic information sourcing, which is called the GIS. Uh, secondly, it has number plate recognition cameras uh, in the perimeter of the city so that any vehicle movements coming inside the city are tracked and uh, monitored and uh, put into active forensics if required. Also, it has an e-challenge system, for example, to uh, uh, capture the traffic violations and automatically send the tickets. Uh, also, it has uh, video analytics so the police can immediately take action. Uh, the other aspect is uh, it has integrated various government systems that helps in actually doing quick investigations, collecting data and creating a case. What do you consider to be some of the proof points of the city surveillance project? In first year itself, there were 15,000 incidents recorded in the system. Today also, 
per day 3000 tickets are issued uh, on traffic violations so the city is well monitoring uh, their uh, the citizens in terms of safety and security have neighboring cities and states taken an interest in following this model and if so what sort of setup is required for its implementation to be successful yes this safe city implementation um, is really a, a subset of the smart city initiative safety and security have become the big pillars for uh, every 100 smart cities that have been talked about uh, by the central government so there is a tremendous push as you know the safety and security have become kind of a growing problem for pretty much all large cities in india and even medium sized cities so i i see that there is a huge value to uh, you know replicate this model to various cities and we feel that uh, you know that is soon going to get implemented on various uh, aspects in the country citizen safety will always be an issue that remains relevant what are other applications of technology that you believe have the capacity to enhance safety and security? Yes, so various technologies we have implemented in Pune city, but there are a lot of new enhancements. So for example, we have also implemented mobile app for, for citizens where uh, every citizen's mobile becomes a camera where uh, the information can be sent to the police. Uh, also there are face, facial recognition uh, uh, technologies plus there are a lot of aerial technologies including drone which can be used for spatial events today we are also supporting a lot of collaborative monitoring in this project so that a lot of local implementations can be brought into the single command center so it becomes uh, easy for uh, crime right up to the doorstep of the citizen did the rollout initially meet with resistance both on an operational level and in the field this was the first large-scale uh, project in the country uh, at the scale of over 1,000 plus cameras. And definitely uh, there are a lot of unknowns and a lot of challenges. The challenges were right at the ground level uh, in terms of uh, managing uh, different entities, the lot of disruption caused by antisocial elements, uh, challenge in logistics. Encompassing all these hurdles, uh, we had kind of uh, uh, set up our project team to manage this into a fully passionate uh, and teamwork driven approach. We got great support from the police as well as uh, the home department of government of Maharashtra. That was one of the key enablers for us to make this successful. So what we say as uh, really the passion uh, of our people as well as uh, the government to do implement this. Uh, second thing obviously the teamwork, well everybody pitched in and, uh, and put their best efforts into this. And third is the innovation that we have brought in in a lot of new technologies that we built in uh, has made this difference. Allied Digital has been uh, selected as a master system integrator to execute the most prestigious order for Pune City Surveillance. CCTV or City Surveillance, what you call, is a good, very good initiative. I believe Pune is one of the leading city which has taken this project with in numerous benefits, in numerous benefits, lot many cases are detected, criminals are napped, and first and foremost, there is a watch. Well, that brings the Digital India Summit Winner Series to a close. We'll see you next time.